I want to uh, share a couple thoughts from Wilford Peterson. He writes something called The Art of a Good Marriage, and he kind of captures marriage in a, in a very unique way, and this is what he has to say. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is doing things for each other, not in an attitude of duty or sacrifice, but always in a spirit of joy. As I stand here before you, looking into your eyes, I see all of the things I fell in love with. I invite you to share my life for every beautiful moment. There is the come. You are the most gentle, sincere, devoted. <laughs> I gotta get through the first line. <laughs> This. Person I know. <clears throat> Your ambition has shown me how to be a better man. I knew I was in love with you when you beat me in Goldeneye and one of her first dates, <laughs> even if you did use proximity mines. <sighs> I love the spark that is inside you, your loving spirit, and I'm so glad to be able to see that every day. I love that you laugh at your own jokes, then tell me how funny you are. <laughs> I love that you and I will spend the rest of our lives together. Somehow, my life has come to this amazing moment. <laughs> and now, I will always share it with you. I look forward to a limitless amount of binge-watching series as we waste away the hours that should be spent folding our laundry. <laughs> I promise you my unconditional love. Tonight, I ask you to be more than who you are and to love you for being you. I promise to care for you even during your everlasting four-hour evening naps. I promise to always love you, and I will never miss a chance to tell you again. I vow to be yours, and truly yours. You are my God to love, my every wish, and the person I want to grow old with. Together, we will continue building upon what we have already created. With our family and friends by our side, I promise to love you forever. As I stand here before you, looking into your eyes, I see everything that I fell in love with. I invite you to share my life for every moment that's to come. You're the most passionate, energetic, and devoted person I've ever known. Your infectious, bigger than life personality has shown me how important it is to always take time to laugh. Bumping into you literally by chance as I was leaving a New Year's Eve party in 2013 was the best thing that has ever happened to me. Of all the things that I cherish about you, I love the way that you sing in the shower, <laughs> That's hard, buddy. play club music to get in the mood to clean, <laughs> dance wherever and whenever the beat drops. Mm -hmm. Simply, it's how you enjoy all the things in life. I promise to continue to love you more than I do chocolate. <laughs> a lot. I promise. <laughs> I promise to support you and the Texans. <laughs> I promise to be your biggest fan now until you are playing old man softball well into your 90s. Till I die. I will care for you, stand beside you, and share with you all of life's adversities and all of its joys from this day forward for the rest of the days of our lives. I vow to share in your dreams and help you achieve your goals. I vow to have the patience that love demands, to speak when words are needed, and to share in silence when they are not. 
I vow to laugh with you and comfort you during times of joy and times of sorrow. You are my guide to love, my every wish, and the person that I want to grow old with. Together we will continue building upon this life that we've created. With our friends and family by our side, I promise to love you for eternity. Grandma and Poppy came over to our house, and Poppy helped Mom take the training wheels off of our bike. <laughs> there we were, ready to go, so I start pedaling. Lauren's a little bit farther behind me. We turn the corner. I freak out. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't figure out how to use the brakes. So naturally, I fall off my bike. So what does Lauren do? She freaks out. She can't stop. And she runs my face over <laughs> with her bicycle. <laughs> but Lauren and Phil, it was at that time that I did not realize what a lesson I learned. And the first is that never ride in front of her on a bike. <laughs> not just because she might run you over, but because you're going through this life together. And you should always be beside each other. And the second lesson I learned is to learn how to use your brakes. In life and in marriage, you have to take things slow and enjoy the ride. I knew Lauren was special that one day we met on New Year's Eve. She became part of our group and we never looked back. I knew she was so special from the first time we hung out and she beat all of us in Goldeneye, like really badly. I consider myself lucky to be part of both of your lives and it means so much to me to be up here on your special day.